Hey guys, it's Neil with The Verge. I'm here at Sony's PlayStation 4 reveal. It's not quite a launch event or announcement because there's a lot we didn't see, including the PlayStation 4. What we did see were a lot of games and the PlayStation 4 controller, the DualShock 4, uh, which is pretty interesting. It has uh, an integrated touchpad, it has a headphone jack, uh, it has a light bar in the front that uh, a camera accessory can look at and track motion, uh, and it has a share button that lets you immediately record your game footage and share it straight to social networks. So that's pretty interesting. We also saw a lot of game demos, uh, mostly engine demos and some upcoming ports. Uh, we saw Watch Dogs from Ubisoft, which was an E3, which looks very impressive. Uh, we saw a very realistic model of a human head uh, to show off some of the graphical prowess of the PS4. Uh, it looks really great. Uh, it's terrifying, but uh, it's very impressive. Uh, and we saw it's basically just a lot of quick clips of games uh, showing off some of the graphical horsepower of the PS4, but not a lot of actual gameplay. I think. Uh, only twice did anybody actually use the controller on stage, and we really didn't see a lot of the PS4's UI. Uh, we didn't see what's going to make it special beyond just gameplay. And the other thing we didn't see, which is kind of important, we didn't see any of the media stuff. There was no mention of Blu-ray, there was no mention of 4K, nothing about how video might be transferred to the service, nothing about uh, other content partnerships, nothing about TV. So Sony is very gaming focused, very developer focused today. A lot of talk about how the PS4 is really a supercharged PC The developers will find easy to develop for and make games for, but very little about what the experience of actually purchasing this thing, putting it in your living room and using it will be like.